And I'm going to actually do something really unusual, and I'm going to invite you to attend one of Donald Trump's rallies, because it's a really interesting thing to watch. You will see during the course of his rallies, he talks about fictional characters like Hannibal Lecter. He will talk about windmills cause cancer. And what you will also notice is that people start leaving his rallies early out of exhaustion and boredom. And I will tell you, the one thing you will not hear him talk about is you. A few moments later. This isn't normal. Apparently the buses are no longer coming, or at least there used to be like 20 buses when we were being brought here, but now there's only like three buses operating and it's an absolute, it's just chaos, absolute chaos. All of us are stranded here. Everyone's stranded here. Something, something went wrong. You're right. Something did go wrong. Donald Trump's campaign failed to pay the bus company up front like their contract stated, so they pulled the buses and stranded all of his supporters out there. Not that anybody should be real surprised. Because there are currently several cities seeking $750,000 from Trump's campaign from events being held since 2016. Even here in the city of Tucson, the great mayor, Regina Romero, sent a letter to Trump saying that she would like her $81,000 so that she could pay all of the law enforcement that provided security to him while he was here. And again, unsurprising to many of us, this armed man magically appeared at the Coachella rally, and they're saying that it was a third attempt on Trump. Wow, I wonder why they're making this a story. I hope you were picking up on the sarcasm. So I've said it before, and I'll say it again. If you're still voting for Donald Trump at this point, 